Now then, we've got another laptop and it's a slim line and it's a HP and I've investigated it a bit and it's got Windows 10 on it and it's locked so I'm not really bothered about the Windows 10 um, but what we need to do well before that this came from Owen of the Boots Owen channel I suspect it came from one of his um, dumpster diving videos but I'm not sure yeah so check out his dumpster diving videos if that's the thing you like investigating stuff that people has thrown away and recycling it rather than it just going to landfill or incineration so there we go that's that now we need to um, let's put the this is a data stick hang on a minute there we go that's a data stick with mint 21.3 on it okay let's wake it up somehow there we go let's press F10 and see if we can get into the BIOS we can't okay so the person's name is on the next screen so I'm just going to do that okay but I'm going to go down here there we go right so down in this corner here I'm going to go it's power and it goes sleep shut down and restart so we're going to go to restart okay and I'm going to press F10 when the screen goes there we go press F10 I think we can remove this now there we go uh, save changes we haven't done any one so any so no now this is all the stuff the processor speed is only 2.3 yeah and it is 2 plus 2 cores it's only got 4 gigs of RAM total memory 4 GB okay right well up the top here we've got main security configuration boot options so let's just click sideways or let's just see what that says administrator password clear power on password clear okay configuration English boot options right so let's see if we can go down uh, legacy support disabled secure boot enabled okay so let us go to disabled on that okay right right okay so we've got USB flash drive we've got UEFI boot order USB flash drive yeah then the operating system boot manager then the CD DVD driver so I'm happy with that if I wanted to change any in that list it says here you use F5 or F6 to move something up you highlight it and then press maybe F5 and it goes to the top okay so with a USB stick in the side there and the secure boot disabled then hopefully we shall let's just see what happens Oh, actually, I think the the boot manager is the one with the arrow on it. But that's the one at the top. All right, let's see what happens. Right, and then we'll go off to exit by clicking on this arrow here. There we go. Save changes and exit. Okay. Uh, 
and I'm just going to press return save changes and exit yes yep all right we've got something here change the operating, set, operating system secure boot mode is pending please enter the passcode displayed to complete the change okay so 3649 3649 plus and then enter Will it, it, well, the, the USB stick is, here we go, oh brilliant, okay, so we're going to start Linux. That wasn't too difficult, was it? I think the last time we did this, we had to put codes in and whatnot, because the whole thing was, um, has security code on it, but now you see... We're, we're loading Mint and once Mint's loaded yeah, we've got we can explore the rest of the hard drive if we want to yeah, um, I don't really want to do that it's other people's information so that's not happening but we can also see what the system's like under system in Linux Mint and then when we're when we've explored a bit then we can go and we can load linux and linux will give you an option to do you want to clear that everything on this disk and start afresh or do you want to keep the windows 10 and put linux in parallel with it but no yeah you've still got you're still locked out of windows 10 anyway yeah but with a password so will just clear the whole lot but it'll take a while for this to load up because it's loading uh, from a USB stick so I will get back to you in a couple of minutes okay here we go bit of a fiddle around there I might have been better off doing uh, cancelling the UE fee and going for the uh, legend or whatever it was no it's not legend but it's something similar to that Anyway, here we go. We have this mint running off that stick. So let's just have a look at the system. So we've got system and we need to look for system reports. System reports is there. Okay, system reports, system information. There we go. HP product, la la la. CPU, dual core, okay. Radeon R3. 2.6. Yeah, average 2.6 speed. Come all the way down right down the bottom and it should memory 3.7 gig so it's not um, it's not exceptional is it but let's do it anyway so all we want to do now is and no doubt we can probably take the back off and have a look see if we can um, change the RAM but sometimes it's all on board uh, okay so we've gone to install Linux Mint and I've double clicked on it and it's flashing is it doing anything yeah I wouldn't say this computer is um, it'd be alright oh we've got a whirly gig yeah so I'll keep stopping and starting I think that's the best thing here we go I don't know whether you can see this or what not it says welcome English yes okay 
continue and we want English UK yeah continue uh, right I think we'll go for that one this is uh, to connect to the old interweb we'll do that connect and I've just got to put the code in I'll be back here in a moment right we're now connected continue okay up the top here install multimedia codex yeah we'll do that and then back down here to continue Okay, hopefully I've moved the camera. Hopefully you can see this. Install Linux Mint alongside Windows Boot Manager. Nah, I don't want to do that. Erase the disk and install uh, Linux Mint. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah. Okay, install now. And it will just wipe the whole thing. Yeah, if you continue it'll be the end of the world okay great right whilst this is oh here we go that's where we are in the UK continue okay Andy Yeah, and I'll choose a password and I'll get back to you in a minute. So that's the password and everything. So we just go continue and I've got require my password to log in. And it's just going to footle around for a while. Here we go. It's starting the partition and what have you. Be back to you when we get other things happening. So as you can see that blue line there we're cracking on it's just telling you stuff but we'll just wait for this to get towards the end so it's moved on to retrieving files yeah okay so it's just continuing on you know you can just walk away and leave this yeah just let it get on with it la 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 yeah, and come back you know, every five, ten minutes and just go, all right, wants wants me to do something now. But really, there's nothing more to do. It's just right at the start there where you give it a name and give it a password and you tell what language you want and all those sort of things and whereabouts in the world you are and uh, what else. Um, yeah, logging on to your local internet service you know or your your wi-fi or whatnot so that then it can download extra bits and pieces just uh, interestingly i did when we were booting up from this data stick with this particular laptop i used the uh, the second option which was the linux mint compatibility mode and it seemed to be happier that way i did try um or I did uh, set up the legacy boot as well I'm not sure which one it's done under whether it's under UEFI or legacy but they but they were both um, live as it were away we go as you can see it's just chuntering away I'll get back to you shortly here we go right restart now because we're done it's not a very fast machine this but there might be some use for it what it will do in a minute it will go remove the media and then press return at least I believe it will do that so there you go you can take an oldish computer or in this case not that old and you can put a different operating system on 
that A is free and B contains everything you need and it doesn't slow everything down so the computer spirals downwards into a swamp yeah anyway thanks very much to Owen of Boots Owen for donating this and thanks to the other people through Patreon who donate we do I know who you are and I appreciate you every time I put a video up I think about you go great they're just helping and appreciating so um, anyway I will catch up with you soon and I will look forward to your comments cheers for now